Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I wanted to come at you really quick with a review of the Derwent Art Bars. I was so excited to get these. They're a water-soluble crayon. They're similar to the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2. The consistency is slightly different and the pigmentation between the two. On um, the lighter colors especially is slightly different. Uh, it just it depends. But I went and because I like to know what my colors are. I went and I got the full set of 72. I got a deal on Blick and I did color swatches of them all. And the bars are actually broken down in terms of uh, brights, pales, earths, and darks. And I, I've really been enjoying them quite a bit. I have a couple of pieces that I've used them for out here. And I'm just going to show you those really quick. So this one I did today, and this is entirely with Derwent Art Bars. This is on cold pressed paper, and I, you know, I think it looks okay in the in the video, but um, and it looks okay in real life. I just I really prefer a, a hot press or a smooth watercolor paper or paper to work on with these because, as you can see now, and if this is your desire, this these may in fact be the ones for you because you can see a lot of texture and stuff, so it works out really cool for this picture because it's of the ocean, but there are times when I want a really smooth background, and for instance, I, this is a combination, the background here is a combination of both the Derwent Art Bars and the Ink Tents, Derwent Ink Tents Bars and Pencils, and I really, really like how it turned out. It's very smooth. There's you know, very good blendability this way, and I really, really enjoyed this, and I think this picture turned out pretty good, so. So yeah, let's, let's get to the review now. So this is my review of the Derwent Art Bars. I've used them in several pieces, as I said, and I just, I drew a couple of little shapes, at my three-dimensional pair slash triangle, whatever you want to call it, weird-looking thing, and then I went ahead and I did a circle and I haven't really colored it in very much and this is my art bars and this is primary blue which is I think this is primary blue, primary blue. so I'm just gonna color in a little more and as you can see it looks almost spotty and this is just a 90 pound drawing paper. I wouldn't recommend this for watercolor, but this is basically when I write down ideas or I do little um, sketches or reviews or whatever for my own personal use. A lot of times this is what I will use for myself. So I figured it was it was okay and you guys would just kind of be all right with it. But adding a little extra color in so you can see how that lays down. I think it lays down color pretty well. It's not as creamy as the um, Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 and it's just it's it's a different consistency it's a wax based uh, water soluble crayon but it's it's a different consistency this is the little baby blue block and I'm just using a water uh, brush because that's what I happen to have handy right now so you can go with the strokes probably should have made the shadow technically over this way really <laughs> and yeah so it's all right whatever but um but I really do like the way they lay down color so now I'm gonna do my little circle I just I like to carry the color over I know I'm weird so. and the nice thing is is you just pull color to Maybe the shine mark if you want. So and then just pull a little shadow back. But um I mean so it's really nice I think if you're just looking to play with something and you're just starting out. I want a bigger shadow. <laughs> I'm so picky. So picky. Uh so I think it's really a good option if you're starting out and you want something to play with. I think it's pretty reasonably priced. I will say I made a list of like pros, cons, and my notes. So, and I totally stole this format from Owings Art. He does some amazing reviews on colored pencils and watercolor and just really, really cool stuff. And I loved the way he did it. Uh, the last several reviews I've done sort of like that. And I mean, you know, and I, I already swatched my stuff anyways. 
And I just, I really like the idea of having notes for my personal use too, which I was already doing. And I just, I liked his layout a lot, you know, where he had samples that he could refer back to. So, and I just, I use my sketchbook a lot for that. So the Derwent art bars, the pros are that even inside this metal tin, it's got some ideas on how you lay out, how they recommend you lay out the brights, the pales, the earths, and the darks. And so it's kind of neat. And they are, in fact, they're not col they're not color coded, but they actually have like little symbols for next to each of them. And they tell you where they're located in the tray itself. I really like that. And I will say that like my little Swatcherewski thing is really nice. I would say if you get this to get that or make your own. Um, so there's ideas and directions for uses of brights, pales, earths, darks. It's easy to lay down the colors you could see. I just laid it down really quick. It didn't take anything. It's, it's like coloring with a crayon, which is what makes it so much fun. They are made to be broken. These are actually scored inside. If you look here, you can see tiny like score marks. They're actually made to be broken so that you can lay down large amounts of background color and large amounts of color. So if you like to work big, and you want to work big in watercolor, these might be a good option for you because you can break them and just go crazy. And not just that, you can actually take, if you take a, well you can do it with ink tints too, but if you take like the little micro planes or the very fine graders, you can grade them up and you can make your own watercolor paints to your own consistency. And you can get some really cool effects if you scrape it off and put it on and then you spray it and then like kind of smush it a little bit. It's really, really cool. Um, as you can tell, I really like these. <laughs> They're easy to layer. I layer a lot. I am a, my background is in acrylic painting. It's, I don't really even have a background in art, but I started with acrylic painting. So that's what I like to do. So I layer a lot. So it's easy to layer, and the nice thing is, is that when I re-wet this, the color doesn't move a whole lot, and because they're kind of transparent layers, when you layer on top of layer, as you can see here where I did this fade from blue to green to an ochre, um, it turned out pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'm the shape of the actual crayons is part of the design. It's triangle shaped. It's not going to roll off like an actual crayon would, and if you use a neo color too, and you're on a slanted surface and a lot of times I like to take this stuff and work with it in my lap you know to draw and stuff because it's easier and you know it's not going to slide off <laughs> nearly as much I guess as the Neo Color 2's do and the nice thing with this triangle shape is as you can see I can actually get some really fine lines but you can just take it like that get a fatter edge and the really cool thing is they sell something to actually like shave this down and get a really fine point on your triangle. But personally, to be honest, like you can do that yourself either on the paper itself or you can take like a little knife. And these are just so soft that it like it gets all on your hands. So be prepared for that. Cons for me, some of the, well, it's like two or three out of the set of the pastel colors have really low light ratings on Derwent. They're like a one, and I think the highest is a seven or an eight. And they do actually have, I think it's the pink, it's not the blue. Um, they do actually have one or two of them that are rated like a one. So a con is that it is messy and it does get all over your hands. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I had a lot more on earlier when I was going at it. But, so if you do not like to get the messy hands, these are not for you. Uh, some of the colors are not as pigmented in comparison to the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2, um, which is fine. I mean, the colors are slightly different, but the ones that are similar, there's maybe a little less, but honestly, I'm okay because I use my art bars a lot of times for backgrounds and like basic laying down the scene. I'm really happy with these art bars a lot. So, and I, I wrote this down as a con just because I personally am not in general a fan of it. I like the way it ended up turning out on the picture, but if you use it on the cold press, it will leave marks. I personally don't really like cold press paper that much anyways. I just got it. Like I said, I use, I keep it around because it's really cheap and it's easy to make swatches of all my art stuff on and I can get heavy, heavy paper, pretty reasonable press. So I really like that. But um, 
Like I said, if you leave coal, if you use cold press and you use entirely the Derwent art bars, you're gonna have a hard time getting full coverage on it. I I think because I mean, so that's the cons. There are a lot more pros than cons. So for me, in terms of buying it, you know. Uh, some notes I made is that it's wax based, it's water soluble. Uh, I put a question mark on whether or not it's discontinued because it said it was on Blick's site. However, when I went to Derwent, it didn't say anything about it being discontinued and I really like how it looks on smooth paper or hot press paper. Um, so that is all for my review. I hope you have enjoyed this. I really like these. I am a huge fan of like water soluble media in general I like to use it and mix it with other things I think I'm actually gonna probably purchase another set of water soluble crayons Lyra makes a water soluble crayon and uh, they have different colors than the ones I have and they're pretty reasonably priced so if you're interested in that and I do pick them up uh, if you want me to do a review on them kinda let me know so anyhow, I hope you all have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Please leave comments in the section below saying kind of what you want to see reviewed or if you want tutorials or if you want to know how I did the boat picture or whatever. I mean, I'll do it all. So I hope you all have a good day and I'll talk to you later.